welcome to my channel once more. Thank you very much for tuning in into our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to build a pitlat reed foundation and the superstructure. The things to consider and how to go about it. Welcome. Building a latrine foundation and superstructure is an essential part of constructing a pit latrine. Here are step-by-step -step instructions for building both the foundation and the superstructure. Number one, site selection. Choose an appropriate location for the latrine. Ensure it is at least 30 feet away from any water sources like wells or rivers to prevent contamination. Consider factors like accessibility and privacy. Number two, soil and hydrogeology assessment. Assess the soil condition at the chosen site. Different soil types may require different construction techniques. Conduct soil tests to determine the soil type and its permeability. Understand the water table depth in the area as it can affect the pit's stability. Number three, design and type selection. Decide on the design and type of pit latrine that suits your community needs. Options include simple pit latrines, ventilated improved pit latrines, and composting latrines. Ensure that the chosen design is user-friendly and culturally acceptable. Number four, material and construction. Gather the necessary construction materials and tools, such as concrete blocks, bricks, or wooden planks. Follow construction guidelines diligently to ensure the pit latrine is structurally sound and durable. Construct the pit walls and floor according to your chosen design. Number five, pit excavation. Dig a pit that is approximately four to six feet deep, depending on local regulations and guidelines. The pit should have sloping sides to prevent collapse. Clear the pit of loose soils, rocks, and debris. Number six, soil compaction. Create a level base for the latrine by compacting the soil at the bottom of the pit. Compacted soil provides stability and helps prevent settling. Now, let's go now. That was about the foundation. Now, let's look at how to build the latrine superstructure. That is the structure above ground. Number one, design and planning. Determine the size and layout of the superstructure. Plan the walls and roof, considering user privacy and ventilation. Make sure the design is user friendly and culturally acceptable. Number two, foundation and frame. If you are using wooden planks for the superstructure, construct a wooden frame for the walls. Ensure it is level and securely anchored to the ground. Number three, walls and roof. Install the wall panels, whether, the wooden, whether wooden planks or bricks, securely onto the frame. Leave an opening for the entrance. Cover the frame with the roofing materials. Ensure the walls and roof are structurally stable. Number four, door and ventilation. Install a door at the entrance for user access and privacy. Create ventilation openings near the top of the walls to allow for airflow while maintaining privacy. Proper ventilation is essential to prevent odors and maintain a fresh and hygienic environment inside the latrine. Number five, insects and insect screen. Install screens or mesh on ventilation openings to prevent insects and pests from entering the latrine. Number six, accessibility and user amenities. 
consider providing an accessible entrance with accommodation like a ramp for individuals with mobility challenges. Include user-friendly features such as a comfortable squatting platform and privacy screens. You may also add a hand washing station with soap and water near the latrine for hygiene. Number seven, maintenance and emptying. Establish a maintenance plan for regular cleaning, repairs, and inspections. Plan for the emptying of the pit when it reaches capacity. Follow safe and proper emptying procedures. By following these steps for both the foundation and superstructure, you can build a functional and hygienic pit latrine that meets the needs of your community while ensuring user comfort and safety. It's essential to involve the community in the construction process and educate them about proper usage and maintenance for long-term sustainability. That's all, folks, about building a pit latrine, both the foundation and the superstructure. Thank you very much for watching our video, and please don't forget to subscribe. You can reach us by leaving comments below about anything you like, anything you like us to do in the future. Once again, thank you very much for watching our video. Until next time, bye-bye.